NVIDIA REPORTING RECORD SALES AMID THE PANDEMIC DRIVEN BY STRONG DEMAND FOR ITS ONLINE GAMING AND DATA CENTER CHIPS. ITS OUTLOOK ALSO BETTER THAN EXPECTED, BUT THE STOCK uh, CAME UNDER PRESSURE AFTER A MORE THAN 170 PERCENT RUN OVER THE PAST YEAR. SEMICONDUCTOR STOCKS, MEANWHILE, HAVE BEEN A BIG PART OF THE MARKET RALLY, OUTPERFORMING uh, THE BROADER MARKET. JOINING US NOW TO TALK MORE ABOUT WHAT'S WORKING. VIVEK ARIA, SENIOR uh, SEMICONDUCTOR ANALYST AT BANK OF AMERICA. Uh, securities and uh, Vivek, this does not, uh, I, from what I can tell, dampen your enthusiasm uh, for the sector or for Nvidia. In fact, you uh, you're raising your price target. Uh, yes, sir. Good morning, Joe. Thanks for having me. So, Nvidia is our uh, top sector pick in the sector. I think it's one of the most unique companies in semiconductors. You know, maybe perhaps in uh, technology, and we think it's on its way to become the first half a trillion market cap or even higher company in semiconductors. Um, and, you know, we are going to go through uh, these uh, variations and noise where the stock runs up a lot into earnings. But the key is uh, they reported very solid results, 30 uh, percent organic sales growth, including 80 percent in their data center business. And think about that 80 percent that compares uh, to cloud spending that is only growing 15 percent this year. So they are clearly executing um, extremely well. They are gaining market share and they're positioned uh, where technology is going. And one other very important point I want to mention is that this is not just a company that is growing extremely well, it's executing extremely well. Um, you know, we focus just on top line growth, but NVIDIA is turning 40 cents out of every dollar in sales into free cash flow, which I think is over twice of what we see from a lot of other software and internet companies. So it's not just growing extremely well, it's an extremely profitable company. So you go to 600, you were at 520 for the uh, stock. That's right. And, you know, what I've seen uh, with NVIDIA, and, you know, we have followed it for almost a um, decade now, is it's, it's less about the price target per se, and I think it's more about the mega trends. You know, what is important in technology and how the company is exposed to it. So when I look at some of the largest and the fastest growing markets in technology, artificial intelligence, uh, gaming, uh, healthcare, robotics, automation, autonomous cars, you need a very strong architecture, software, developer portfolio to go after those mega trends in a very consistent manner. And I think that is what NVIDIA has uh, managed to achieve. And this is why the company over the last few years has gone from under a 5 billion market cap to a 300 billion uh, market cap. Second, yeah. a very important thing uh, for the company is that it's not just selling chips. It's actually selling complete systems for $200,000. So we think of it as a chip company, but it's actually providing integrated systems and that really reduces the time to market for a lot of its customers. So a number of advantages, and we, we think it's in still in very early stages of its growth.